Who is outside? I see him. There he goes. Let's open it, right? Huh? May 12th. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears to Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson, had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific's northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the forestry service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help for my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time, I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me, though since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. Oh, we're driving. So we're playing the fourth game uh, fears to fathom. Um, a little bit late to the bandwagon. All right, let's see what it says. I remember talking about love with the girl. Now head up on the other side of the world. I really hope whatever's playing in the background is not copyrighted. Um, if you don't hear it, um, it's because I muted it. So sorry, some rap music. All right, let's. Let's read the message from Kayla. This new regional manager is such a jerk. I honestly- wait, can I turn off the music? Okay, I was able to turn it off. Good. Alright. This new regional manager is such a jerk. Honestly, sometimes I wish I had a job like you. Waking up with nature, away from people, and just getting paid to watch the wind go by. Wish my job was really that easy, Kay. I'm honestly done with this job. Pretty sure joining you next season. <laughs> like I said, you're always welcome here. Let me know if you need me to talk to Josh. It's definitely the time for a change. Speaking of change, what does it say? Iron Bark Fire Department. Fire Lookout. Cool. Iron Bark? They are staffing me next to Iron Bark next month. The one after Roseburg? Yeah. Heard they got bigger staff, cabins, and less campers. Call me with dad. I'll call you back. How's it looking? Still on my way. Van decided to pull a flat tire on me today out of all days. Isn't it late? If I don't starve to death before arriving, I'll be fine. Did you pass Roseburg yet? No. Why? All right, let's talk to Mitch. Congratulations on the transfer. Feeling ready for the change? Just reaching to, t to you to tell you that you've been assigned Tower 11. Welcome on board. This is Mitch, by the way, from Ironbark. Thank you. Heard a lot about you from Josh. Very excited to meet you soon. Just got my ID today. Your shift starts on 12th. Sounds good, I'll be there. Anything I need to know? I have your papers, just bring your ID. Josh told me the job is not news to you. Can I ask you one question? Sure. Why did you pick this job initially? Not sure how to answer that. I just enjoyed the thrill. Or the lack of it, I guess. I'm sorry. I just asked this question to everyone joining this line of work. People join looking for a getaway or to discover who they are only to leave without notice. Guests are better off in a cubicle. To be honest with you, 
I joined Iron Horse last year not knowing what to expect. The solitary life has grown on me. For me, I can't do city life. This is where I belong. And I'm sure I'd adapt just to just fine to Ironbark. Good. I hope you fare better than the last lady. Where can I park my van? So you're arriving on a Friday. Just park your truck around back on the gravel. Park by gate D. Got it. And what was that? And from there, you'll be on foot. Take the Gold Creek Trail. From there, it'll take you a couple of hours until you reach your tower. Okay, got it. Thanks. You'll probably see Billy at the gate to show your ID. All right, so we have to go on foot and take the Gold Creek Trail Park on Gate D. Got it. So we're on Tower 11, Park at Gate D, Golden Trail. I lived a very solitary life. It helps keep, helps quiet my mind, keep the memories at bay. What happened to him? I've always loved the great outdoors. Just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. I felt like I was at home in the woods. Woman, I can't drive and text at the same time. Hold up. I remember there's this diner while passing Roseburg. They had the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. I could really use a good meal before the staffing starts. Thanks, Kay. Oh, okay, we'll, we'll go get a hamburger. Oh, here we go. I saw the diner Kayla was talking about. All right, let's pull in. Forgot, I have an RV. I have an RV. Can I hit the cars? Boom! I should have taken it easy. Ah! <laughs> you know what? I don't care. Let's get out of the truck. I probably hit every single car. Oh! Oh! This is so nice. I can't believe we can like actually walk in our RV. I love this. Okay, let's let's go. Nice. Cool. Who's this? Oh, he's grubbing. How's that burger? This little piece of heaven? This place is pretty much my weekend spot. Look at his little smirk. You new around here? I'm not going to tell him where I work. Just passing through. Have a safe journey. Oh, he's munching. <laughs> I find that so funny. Yeah, I'm not going to tell some stranger that I'm like where I'm working. It's too trustworthy. There's there's still strangers. Are you stuck, lady? Hi. Please leave me alone. Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Good. How about you? Feel free to take any seat you like and I'll be right with you. All right. Thank you. I'm going to bother every single person in this diner. Look a little lost. I'm just passing through. So where are you headed? That's none of your business. I guess not. Exactly. Long day of driving, huh? Where are you headed? I'm he heading up north to make a delivery. What about you? Just down the road. <laughs> Keeping it, you know, short. Wait, what? Okay. What is, is he a worker? Pretty long day at work, huh? He just stared at me. I don't trust you. Can we join him? I wonder, hold on. Do you mind if I join you? How's the food? You know what, you anti-social SOB, whatever. I'm gonna sit right here and stare at you. I'm gonna stare back. Ah! Good evening, I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yes. So, what can I get for you today? Okay, she said to try the, the burger, so we'll try it. Cheeseburger with fries. Aha, our burger is the best in the West. Would you like anything to drink? So he's tired. Let's do a coffee. Perfect, anything. I mean, it's kind of weird to eat a burger with coffee, but 
I'm assuming he's gonna need it to stay on the road. I don't know. You, you guys know what I'm talking about. Perfect. Anything else? That will be all. Thank you. Great. I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Sounds good. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm looking right at you. I've always had this habit of peeing before eating. Oh, really? I feel like this man is going to cause me issues. Just saying. I really had to pee. How much did he really have to go? How do we flush? Okay, we flushed. Okay. So. Hands. I mean, I'm not savage. I'm not going to walk out without washing my hands. Alright. I wonder if our burger's going to be already at our place. Okay. Oh, we got... No, we got nothing. Where's she at? Oh, here she goes. Coming with my stuff. Thank you. I'd figure it'd be a while before I had a meal like this again. Oh, we got fries with it. And, and, and coffee, you know? It's a pretty, pretty decent meal. I don't got time for you, woman. I need to eat first. Phone down. Food first. Can we eat? Lick the sauces. Oh, he went to the bathroom. Is she gonna come to us? Hold up. Did you enjoy your food? Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else? Or should I check? get the check? Check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. Thanks. Alright, now we can check our messages. So did you end up going? How was it? I'm here. Still eating. This is so good. Can we get up? No. Told you. Hee <laughs> hee. This food reminds me. You should send me that casual recipe you were talking. Oh. Here's a check. Your total is 660. We're gonna do 15% tip. There you go. I don't Hope you enjoy the rest of your ride. Thanks. Okay. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine in the new lookout. Wow. Yes. I'm on my way home. Send you, send you in a bit. All right. Let's get up. Did that guy leave the bathroom door open? Is he okay? Oh. He bolted. When did he leave? Weird. Anyways. Anyways, let's, let's just go. Is that man still eating? He is. How many burgers did you buy? Where are you headed? I'm from Roseburg. This place is pretty much my weekend spot. Uh, just passing through. Have a safe journey. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna keep eating. Why is this open? Did I leave this open? I did not. I closed it. I close this. He's in here. The bathroom door was, door was strangely, strangely jammed. Of course he is. The shovel guy is in here. Dude, need to get out of there. Wait, why do I have this? Okay, anyways. All right, off we go. Even though the man's in our bathroom. I will destroy every car in this parking lot. <laughs> I don't care. Go! Whatevs. It's just a video game. I do not drive like this in real life, by the way. <laughs> Off we go. Ooh, I don't want to die. Eight oh two PM. 
No, no music. I want to include the location of this park, but I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. Yeah, the national forests in the US are scary as hell. I'm, I'm, I am gonna say that, they're very scary. Okay, they said to park on gate D. Is this gate D? Permit by parking only? I don't, they said to park by gate D. I see an RV there. I don't care, I'm parking here. You guys saw a ghetto. <laughs> Taking my stuff. Is it through here? And there was a Golden Creek Trail. Yeah, I was here. Perfect. scared me. I thought you're one of them. One of who? May Lord have mercy. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? You're Billy, right? I'm the new transfer fire lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know you were hiring this season. Hang on. Let me check on that. Freaked me the hell out. Get my back. Yes. Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for this season, but here are your keys. Okay, let me open the trail gate for you. Alright, I'm taking my bag. Ah, wait, how did I get over here? Do I drive through there or just walk? Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the look long hike to your lookout. Thank you, Billy. You be careful. Take this. Take flashlight. Welcome to Ironbark, pal. Now for our purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system, just so we know you clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough, guy. He'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Thank you, Billy. Alright, so... Oh, what? Hey. Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. You got it. But we're not gonna listen. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. Eleven thirty-two p.m. It was a long hike, and it was starting to get cold now. Like, how far away is the tower and for him to say it's a long hike? What is Ironbark Tower? Over there's Lacey Trail. So we're... Oh, that, that's our tower. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. I can imagine. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. But I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. Okay, we have a porta potty. Turn on the generator. And now we go upstairs. Oh, what's that over there? I don't know what that is over there, but okay. I ascended the stairs to the top of the tower. Once you're on top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary. Wow. 
going to set this on top of my... There we go. I was finally in my new home for the next few months. Wow. Here we go. All lookouts must follow these rules while, while occupying this tower. No, no music. So we have a kitchen. What, uh, I guess a place, what is this? Osborne Firefinder. It's like a giant compass size of a, of a pizza. Oh, it's a compass. We use it to spot the fire on the map. Oh, we can sleep. Okay, um, I guess we have to now clock in the weather report. Whoa, what is this? Check the iron bark rules flyer. Okay. Radio crew was, was sitting on the table. So what is the password? Wait, what? Request comm, send photos to call Billy. Call John tomorrow. System power, oh, iron bark 11. Okay, that's our password. Oh, oops. Rainbow 98. Okay, we got a report. Hello there, it's Smiley, your tr trusty virtual assistant, here to help you make the most of your computer today. So let me say that back in the day, there used to be a little, my favorite Windows was like a little mascot with the, the paper clip. Oh, it was so cute. Good evening, Tower 11. How's your day going? Clickety click, here's a random fact for you. Honey never spoils. Archaeologists have found pots of honey in ancient Egyptian tombs that are over 3,000 years old and still perfectly edible. Oh, okay, no, no more facts. All right, so we have... Welcome to the state-of-the-art service reporting software... Oh. New guy, I haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? I saw your light Jack. Down. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower 11 alive again. You were watching? Isn't that the job? I've had to cover your area until you arrived. I'm Connor. Fire Tower 12. Hey, Connor. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Just looking for a change. I'm a transfer from an Iron. Experienced comrade. Oops. I can see why Mitch picked you. I'm really tired. You got a fire going? No. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Got it. Thanks. All right, let's get the. How do we get rid of the flashlight? There we go. I don't see firewood! Smoke. Did you light it up yet? There's no firewood. The wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. I know this. There's no wood. There's no, no firewood. firewood. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley? The staffer who was in the lookout before you. She was... one gritty woman. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin. But if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. Okay, we're locking... Oh wait, I need a flashlight. We're locking the door. Oh, here's, here's the, uh... Wait. There's the axe and gasoline. But we're gonna lock that door. <clears throat> because in the event that it's open again, we know someone's been rummaging in there. You know? Did I have to put gasoline in here? What is- Oh, there's lots of supplies. Cool. There's a lot of stuff here. Okay, off we go.
Really? Oh! Um, I guess not. <laughs> I don't know. Did I not do it? Needed gasoline. But I tried. I'm gonna burn this whole place up. Watch. Ah, I ah. see it. I see the smoke. I thought I thought it burned down the place. Nice to see Tower Eleven alive again. Did you report for the night yet? No. Be because I I don't know how to report the wind. No, let me get to, get to it. Then. Here at Iron Bark, you are required to report every night before signing off. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. Maybe I do. Okay, but how do I check the wind? How can I make your day better? That's the map. Oh, cat! Did he have multiple owners? Is that what it's telling me? Anyways, amazing video. Loved it. What's Ro, Ro Ross? Hi, everyone. I'm Ron. No, no, no. Plant interview. And we are back. So how do no. you- Okay. Um, I really don't know how to do that. What's in the bin? I don't know how to do this. This is to measure the wind, right? Ah. That's what it's for. Okay. 17 knots. Got it. Oh! <laughs> Anyways. Thanks. Thank you very much. And this is a compass and as it's 40. 46 degrees. Okay. I was doing it wrong. Come on. Wait. How do I? Okay, so it's 46 and 7, 17 knots. Submit. I wasn't sure if I had put the right weather condition. I don't care. I submitted it. Right? <laughs> Clear. Ah, there we go. All righty, yeah, everybody said. Hey, copy, new guy. Damn it. Tower eleven. Copy. I'm gonna sign off for the day. Tower twelve, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. Good Don't night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Good night, over and out. Uh, good night, Connor. Talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Can we cook anything? I mean, I don't know why I brought this bag, but I just did. Um, that's not safe. Alright, we're going to sleep. Three twenty-six a.m. Oh, Lord. Why I gotta be 3 a.m.? It's 
someone talking to us? I had to pee. Connor? Wait, where is our... We need to pee? Where will we pee? Outside? Wait, damn it! Flashlight, we need to go downstairs. Where is our flashlight? What the heck? Everything got reset. Where is our flashlight? Ah, oh, there it is. Alright, off we go. Why can't I go down? Are you serious? What if we- what if something like- Oh, you see there's someone like right there. And he's watching us pee. Can we see him if I- Right there. This right here? Yeah, someone's watching us. I wonder who's watching us. There he goes. Damn, I didn't get the binoculars from downstairs. I should have gotten them. Why is that person there like that? Interesting. Can we go get the binoculars downstairs? Damn it, no. There's an invisible wall. Okay, fine. Okay, we're gonna go back to sleep, right? There was a guy... With a flashlight. Was was he lost? Night two. Oh, we got coffee. Yes. It's so nice. Oh, there's our friend Connor. Can we walk around? This is actually really nice. Is there anything going on? Okay, I'm assuming that there's that it's gonna want me to find something, right? Because we're zooming. Opened up all the window. Oh, do you copy? Yes, this is Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? Dude, I'm coming. Let me first put this. Hush. Tower 11. Do you copy? Copy that, Connor. What's up? Son of a bitch. Excuse me? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days. Tell me how you feel. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Let me have a look. <clears throat> north of my position? The smoke was white, indicative of a campfire. Dude, I'm coming! Do you see that smoke up north? Oops. Yeah, they can't be doing that. Yes, let's, let's go. Alright. You spot that white smoke up north? Yeah, I see it. It appears to be in the Lacey Trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. The fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? Okay, so is it safe? Yes. Do you have any other detail? Okay, heading north. I'll report back on it. Yes, do you have- yeah, any other details? No additional information at the moment. Just follow Lacey Trail. Keep an eye out for any signs of a campfire or any potential hazards along the way. Okay, heading north. I'll report back on it. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. Over and out. Bear spray? Is it where I thought I saw? Here we go. This one. 
Okay, I know, I mean, where is he at? He's over there. So I guess I am the closest one to that guy. I was about to say, you do it your damn self. They told me not to venture far, and you're having me go all the way over there. All right, we have to follow the trail. So our person was right there, actually. So maybe the person that was with their flashlight, I was on the wrong trail. Oops. It's this, yeah. The, the person that was here, I guess, is who started the campsite, maybe? Makes sense. Damn, how long were we, were we were in this trail? Why are we, why is it night? I follow the trail that led me to the smoke. Was it? Uh-oh. What's this? No camping. Violators will be sighted and moved. She gives the best head. I love Jen. Are they playing hangman or are they keeping tabs of who they killed? Oh, here's the campsite. It's nice. What does it say? Tower 11 frequency. Oh, cool. I've never gone camping myself. Wow. Who's whistling? Yeah, I saw you. Interesting. All right, Kayla, what do you want? Oh, you were giving her pictures. Okay. What is this? Okay, so she gave us a recipe. You would not believe how easy this one is 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 to throw together. Did you reach yet? Send pics when you do. Jack, are you okay? Hope everything is okay. Reply back when you see this. I'm sorry, Kay. I don't think my sector has very good service. View from my tower and thanks for the recipe. Might try it tonight. There's a boat here? A oh, canoe. Interesting. So what do we do? Okay, we can't grab anything. I'm assuming that we have to go through here. Step out here. Show yourself. I, I saw you. The, the area beyond that site was closed. Can I put up? Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I had to put it out. So we have to grab this. Get some water. All right. Okay, I guess we get to leave, right? I'm assuming so. I do hear noises around. 9.07 PM. As I hiked back to my tower th through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. Mind you, in our RV, we also have the issue of the bathroom door being jammed. So, did this person come from our RV? Hmm. You know, this makes me wonder. I have to report to Connor about the vacant campsite. It ain't vacant, he was murdered. Tower 12, do you copy? Hey, Connor, do you copy? Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot... Well, first, what's your status? Talk about campsite. Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? Who are you talking about? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this been happening a lot? This is the third time this month alone. And 
Anything else you notice in those woods? Yeah, the scream. The scream? Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. Um, no, it was a manly scream. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Kids went missing in that area? About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. What does that have to do with the campers? Well, people have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes, I only wish they were true. What? Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11 urgently. That's unsettling. You guy? I hope you don't believe those rumors. Um, no. Great. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Keep me updated. Will do. Over and out. Over and out, because I absolutely do believe that that is a thing. All right. Uh, we ha it's 45 degrees. 45 degrees, how many knots? 45 with 20, and it's, uh, cloudy. 45. Give me a moment, Kayla. Forty-five, twenty, cloudy. Tried, Jake. Before I do that, all right. Oh, well, we don't have service, so I'm so jelly of that view. By the way, look what I got home to: pizza, pasta, bake. I wonder if this is real. Like. Would anyone be willing to try to make these recipes from the game? Maybe I could. It'd be cool to film it, maybe? Hmm. Ga you know, gaming and cooking? <laughs> maybe I can do something like that. Mom made the same casserole recipe today. Nom nom, hee <laughs> hee. Looking at that photo makes my stomach growl. As a matter of fact, let me try that recipe now. Also, we're gonna cook. We're going to cook. There's a stuff. Okay. So we have our dish. Let's look at what she sent us. Are we making this or are we making the other one? Oh, it's the same thing. All right. We need pasta, marinara sauce, cheese, pepperoni, and diced tomato. We just have a lot of fish. Okay. Here we have the pasta. Um, sardines. What's this? Okay. Where do, where's our cooking stuff? I mean, in the fridge. Ah, here we go. Okay. What is this? No. Okay, this is the pasta. Now we need tomato. Yeah, tomato. Cheese. Where's the cheese? Pepperoni and cheese is what we need. Pepperoni. And then cheese. Which which one's the cheese? Guess ground beef. No. Ah. Oh, buffalo mozzarella mozzarella. In the oven. Can we put this back in? Eh, whatever. All right, well that cooks. Hey oh. You there? Damn it, I was about to eat. You guy. You copy? I'm coming. I mean, it doesn't look right. Oh wait, 46, not 45. Right? Fine. Yes. Connor? Uh, just reported their ass to the authorities. What do they say? Don't worry. Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. That's relieving. Hope they can track them down and give them a piece of their mind. We'll keep an eye on things from here. You stay vigilant. 
intro after such smoke moving forward. That's the duty I chose. Speaking of duty, I don't see your name here. Did you report for the night yet? I was just getting to you it. Better get to it. Mitch didn't sound to be in a very good mood today. You got it. Show you what. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Thank you, Connor. Go over 12, signing off. Over now. Over. Gotta go get my food. It's still cooking. Okay. Um. Let's see. It says here, 49.7. Keep forgetting I can click on it. 20. Submit. Jake. And then 48.5. Connor. He helped one hiker. Okay, tower 12, 9. Hmm. Was I supposed to click OK? Yeah, there you go. I heard a ding! I just remember the smell of the fresh sizzling cheese. I like eating in bed. Okay. Um. Wouldn't you get like crumbs though? This is a lot of food for one person. Is he really gonna eat this whole casserole dish? I, I could not eat all that. Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> Let's just save this for later. Okay, fine. I guess we'll go to bed. Turn that off. And go to sleep. It was getting... Oh. Of course. The fire. We have no wood. Should I be bringing wood up here? I mean, it's not that dark, so I'll, I will use a flashlight. Are you serious? Okay, so we have to board everything up. Did all oh, I missed a window, hold on. How? Does this stay without the board? I guess not. Okay. I guess only that stays open. There we go. 2.27 a.m. Another middle of the night wake up. I was woken by some feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. Who is outside? I see him. Oh, hey, look, he's moving. There was something very strange about that night. There he goes. walking there he's right outside our door let's open it right huh? <laughs> that was hilarious <laughs> he didn't expect us to open the door the game was <laughs> we confused the game Can we call Connor? 
There was something very strange about that night. Can we do anything here? Alright, let's get up. I thought as it was if I oh hide. Okay, we're hiding. There we go. Oh, we can use that now okay but can i grab the hatchet i can't oh here we go hold on so he was looking at me through here didn't find anything and now he gives us i didn't know what to make of it at the moment calling Connor. The only logical thing I could think of was to contact Connor. Connor, do you copy? I need to talk to you. It's urgent. You there? Do you have any idea what time it is? There's something eerie about this place. There's something outside my door. Wait until morning. Mention the skull. I don't think these kids are messing around. These kids can be pretty creative with these pranks. You watch too many horror movies. Maybe they thought it would be funny. This is serious. You don't understand, do you? This feels like a. This feels like a some real. Okay, there's like a. There's um. This is wrong. Incorrect English. This feels like a some real ritual. This. One. Let's not get carried away, new guy. We're in the middle of nowhere. Even more reason, Connor, to think they're doing some demonic stuff. Come on. All right. Here's what we'll do. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. I'll be dead by then. For now, just lock your door, take a deep breath, and try to get some rest. We can't do much in the dark. I can't go back to bed. It'll be morning before you know it. Psh. You gotta get some sleep, Jack. Over and out. I ain't gonna say sh nothing to you. Connor didn't make any sense. But there's not much else I could have done in the dark. Yeah. Well, I mean, what can you do? Go to sleep. Night three. Next day, I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids. There's something about that night that just felt darker. There is something strange happening in these woods. 8.34 p.m. I occupied most of my days either with a simple maintenance in and around the tower... Oh, let's clean this. How do I say? My paranoia for these woods only grew after last night, which led me to stay vigilant moving forward. What was that? What the heck? That was a flare. Someone need help? Yeah, that was a flare. Hold on. Wait, wrong way. I hear you loud and clear. Uh, this is Jack, Tower 11. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost, and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. What's going on? I I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. A and now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think, I think I'm lost. What is your current location? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. 
I thought shooting a few flare gunshots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. What direction are you facing right now? I'm walking towards west right now because I remember walking east when I came here. Do you remember any landmarks? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Let me scan the map and get back to you. All right. This reminds me of another game where you have to help people, if I'm correct. So let's see. So he is... This is Tower 11. What is that noise? Uh, hello? Dude! Uh, are, are you still there? Both of these trails seem pretty similar. Uh, I'm just so anxious about making a mistake and going further away from the road. Please help. I'm trying to get to you. Okay, where's the stream? I don't understand. I can't read this map. Old Radio Tower, Golden Creek, Lacey Trail. He's heading west, so maybe Lacey... Okay, he has to go towards the... No, that goes to the crazy people. I don't know what to tell him. Let's tell him to go left. <laughs> I'm at a trail intersection now, but ha, I knew it! I thought I looked familiar. I hope that was right. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. Hope you reach back to the trailhead safely. Making decisions in the dark can be challenging. I'm right here! What do you mean? I hear you. I hear your whistles. That's not what? me. What? I see you behind the trees to my right. That's not You're me. You're freaking me out. Use this. Holy moly, what took you so long in there? I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? I was just assisting a lost hiker. At this hour, may the Lord be merciful. Anyways, got your tower supply tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. Take supplies. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north, why were you there? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate on a campfire smoke. Oh Lord have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention, You'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I've got enough to keep me occupied here. I'm not saying nothing. I've been hearing you've been on... Oh. <laughs> I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything alright? The skull. Oh lord have mercy. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? I didn't think about it. You know... It's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. Thanks for the supplies. Uh, okay. I think our hiker died. Wow, he disappeared real quick. Should we go out to help him? I mean, I don't know. Okay, let's check our stuff. So it's um, 58.8 and 23. 58 point wind 
Clear, clear wind. Oh, Connor hasn't reported his stuff yet. And let's eat our leftovers. Oh, no. Wait, microwave? Let's put our stuff down. Yeah, down, down, down. I think that our hiker is um, dead or it could possibly be that we were being tricked and it wasn't really like anybody important, you know? So yeah, curious. All right. Mother trucker. I didn't do our um now we need our fire. Let's go. I always feel like there's going to be it got deathly quiet. Can we go help this person? <laughs> yes? You just gave me a heart attack. I understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. What are you doing here? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Thought I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. Do you usually work this late? Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right message reached the right places, wouldn't you agree? Uh, we rely informa- we relay information about fire sightings, I agree. Fire risks are high this season. Absolutely, but some fires are meant to burn and no amount of prevention can stop them. What do you mean? Nature has its own plan. Something- some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. And sometimes, disasters are just another form of cleansing. A way for the land to purify itself. Aha. Uh -huh. I should head back to the tower. I'll see you around, Silas. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well. But remember, curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. I was the guy gave out the creepiest vibes. I was about to throw all of my wood at this guy. <laughs> All of it. Where's he going? Okay. Did he cut the communication lines with the hiker, I wonder? Because, like, the guy abruptly cut off. Jesus, that's, that guy scared the crap out of me. Alright, let's put the... Can never get this right, but whatever. Loud and clear. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where uh, you been? Ran into Silas downstairs. Ran into who? The guy maintaining that nearby radio tower. <sighs> Is this about yesterday? What do you mean? You trying to yank my chain now? What do you mean? That radio tower's been out of service for ages now. Oh my god. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems. And its repair cost was deemed too costly. Postponed until the next big funding, which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Then who did I just talk to? Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He knew my name. He knew your name? You think he's been listening? Um, I don't know. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. All right, I got this. Anyways. Seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Yeah, me too. Tower 12, signing off. Good night, over and out. out. Alright, so we have everything. Turn off the light, and now we go to bed.
That is crazy. Who the heck is Silas? <laughs> Maybe he's the guy that we scared with the stuff. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I need, needed getting used to. The strangeness I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Uh oh, oh, two nights later. Okay, 9.18 p.m., so not that late. What's raining? Yeah. Oh. You got a minute? What is it? Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. Uh... What is it about? Well, they say they've optimized the reporting software, improved the communication system, and some much-needed security patches. If you ask, it all looks the same to my eyes. How do I update the computer? Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology is not really my thing. Dare I say it, these computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Maybe. Anyways, for now, use the console to run the new system update. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. Alright, thanks for letting me know. Oh, okay. Alright, new security. So I think I know I've got a console. Help. Check update. There's three updates. Okay. Update. Four three four six zero eight four is a package code. Right? This is right here. And busy is that one's busy, busy five four eight seven. It's green. A Did the generator that the generator run out of gas. Um, I don't want to. Well, yeah, I, I, I'll use ours from here. Wait, uh -uh. okay. It was getting cold, and I had to pee. Are you kidding me? God, why can't we? So I see that's like a place where we can hide at because of the microphone. And I don't know why my microphone is going all up. Oh, don't me, we lost our gas. One week later. Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked, unless I was talking to myself. Another 2.34 a.m., oh man. Why well, I gotta get up? What's going on now? Jack, you copy? Why are you still up? Okay, tell you what, I don't have the energy to do this right now. What I've happened? You're busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. What? I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. Campsite from your yeah, end. Let me have a look. Here we go again. Let's get our knock. Oh, what? You know what? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. If they don't run away this time, take their photos and IDs. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Update me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. Excuse me? Let it all burn. Let it all burn. I'm kidding. <laughs> that sucks. Like, what the heck? Okay, to our west? What's going on? 
Oh, here's a smoke. Let's see what's going on. Um, I didn't know what to make of it. That is a ritual. Only thing that made sense at the time was to take evidence of it. Wait, there we go. gotta hide in the how far away is he in the no inside here can can I call Connor is picking up all the background noises from my family so unfortunately i have to cheat the system and i literally have to like mute the mic so i'm so sorry <laughs> that i have to cheat guys but it's the only way that i can get past that level or the hiding part of fears to fathom that we're so you know that we've come to love, um, you know. Got another one. Huh? Running for my life. Need to get into the RV. Dude, go! I hope we make it, hope we make it, please! As adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. 
Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the headquarters. Look, Doc, we all get a little stir crazy out here, Mitch answered. Excuse me? Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area. But of course, they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set foot in those woods. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Yeah. That's why I don't go camping. I think it might be the people that work at the towers. 